The clown loach is a great fish to have in an aquarium for many reasons. Firstly, they are peaceful and get along well with others. Secondly, their bright colors make them stand out from other inhabitants of the tank, which could help you notice if something goes wrong or needs attention quickly at night time when lighting levels are low a trait also shared by Neon Tetra. Finally, these interesting creatures usually reach ages between three to five years old before succumbing so long life spans mean there's potential entertainment value here too. Clown loaches are one of the most interesting fish in a tank. They can be bought for decorative purposes, but they also add an additional level to your curiosity with their natural appearances. Do you want these guys? Let me tell YA about them so that when it comes time for purchasing new pets at home there will surely not be any doubt what to get. For example, do plants hurt clown loach survival rates? If not, then get yourself some great looking Lao Shays, or fun as we call M. Who knows maybe he'll even grow flowers. It's not easy to find the perfect fish for your aquarium. But when you do they can make all of those hard decisions easier. Clown loaches are one such species that should be considered because their unique appearance and interesting behavior will keep both visitors and owners entertained. In this article we'll go over what it takes in order to establish a population severe enough with these curious creatures, so read on there may come time where having more than one or two would no longer satisfy desires. Do clown loaches like plants? It turns out that these clever fish are not as shy when it comes to plants. In fact, if you want your clown loach tank well stocked with live vegetation, then don't put them in an aquarium without any. These slippery guys love hiding near or among the greenery, especially during safer sex mode so they can breed more easily. They also enjoy making little caves, hiding spots for themselves around, which makes sense given their natural habitat, cave roofs full of. When you add plants in the tank for your clown loaches, they will feel much safer and more at home. In addition to this feeling better with their new surroundings, it is also likely that these inhabitants of an aquarium would get used to being around other fish even if no others were present, because each individual has its own specific requirements when dealing with water quality levels or types which cannot be met without proper vegetation around them. Do clown loaches eat live plants? The clown loach is a unique fish that has been known to enjoy hiding in plants. They often hang out at the bottom of your aquarium and use them for cover, so it's not surprising they like hanging around with plant life. The omnivorous species will eat anything from small insects, or worms right up until large foods, such as crayfish tails, or even other types if given enough time. But don't worry these guys only need about 10 minutes per day maximum, because their digestion takes care over 4 hours. There are some plants that clowns love to eat, like the kabomba. The leaves grow very fast and these fish can't get enough. They'll nibble on them constantly until there's nothing left, but stems or roots and even then you might find a few leftover pieces floating around in your tank if they are lucky enough, or maybe not. You don't necessarily have worry about ruined plant life either, though I'm sure most people would prefer their cute little underwater flowers stay intact for as long possible. The list of plants that are good for clown loaches is very limited. You'll want to carefully pick which one you put in the tank, as they have delicate roots and may damage them if there's too much pressure on their part, or not enough oxygen available near these sensitive regions during growth cycles. Plants that clown loaches won't eat while it's true that some plants are more harmful than others, there's always an option for those who want to avoid being eaten. The best way is by finding a type of algae-eating plant called Anubias nana. Many say this one true, clown loach proof, Variety will keep your tanks happy and healthy so long as they don't eat the leaves. There are many plants that can be grown in an aquarium. However, not all of them will thrive under the right circumstances, and some may even die before reaching maturity if they are exposed to particular types or concentrations of chemicals within your water source. 
You should also take care, when selecting, which ones survive best by avoiding picking out fragile species like Valisneria, while being aware how strong root systems each plant has been bred for natural environments have developed over time without human interference, so these engineered varieties won't need as much attention once established, but still require. Best plants for clown loaches as mentioned above, Anubias plants are likely going to make for some of the best fish tank decorations, when you want your clown loaches, or any other creature, in their home safe from harm. They are very durable and even if they do get nibbled on by a few too many teeth it won't matter, because these gentle giants can barely chew through their thick armor plating. Java ferns would also work well as decor, though not quite so tough, and will provide cover against hungry pests, such as fry while providing enough moisture. Try to choose plants that won't be eaten by your fish. You should also look for tough, durable types of plant life, so they can survive in the aquarium and thrive alongside their new companions. If you're not sure what is appropriate then ask an employee at the store, they'll know exactly which hardy freshwater aquarium plants will work well with yours and remain safe. Do clown loaches dig up plants? Loaches are known for eating plants, but they shouldn't be messing with your tank substrate. If you want to keep them from doing this then, just pick a plant that has strong roots and avoid any type of root-bound species like java fern or aloe vera. Clown loach fishing at the bottom is normal, these fish hang out there sometimes when looking around in search food ingredients, instead it should simply slide off onto rock surfaces, which could cause damage. It's easy for plants with shallow root systems to get pulled out by fish. This can be an issue when you have clown loaches in your tank, since they love eating anything that moves. Take the time before adding these types of aquatic vegetation, so research what kind will work best based on how big or small, or whether there are other animals, as well as where it falls within pH levels. Just remember not to go overboard because some aquarium plant life does need more care than others. How to stop clown loaches from eating plants If you want to keep your clown loaches happy, it is best not to use any plants they might consider a threat. You should start by picking out tough-to-eat species for them so that the only thing in their tank are peaceful inhabitants. The fish will need to eat. But if you keep them well-fed and happy with a variety of food sources, including plants, it'll be easier for the clown loaches not want anything other than their usual meal. They should only get fed twice per day, once in morning time, then again before bedtime, so they don't become overweight or undernourished from neglecting eating habits during captivity. In order make sure everything goes smoothly while taking care of these beautiful creatures at home here is what else I found out about how loach living works. It's important that all types survive. Male or female what's not to love about a fish that loves food? This one has you covered. Feeding your new friend the right diet will ensure their health and happiness. It may be hard at first, but with some patience on both ends of things, it becomes easier every day as they start begging for more from their owner like any good little clown loach does when given what he desires most in life. Goodies in this case worms. When it comes to living in an aquarium, there's really not much that can be said about these delightful fish who love snacking on snail treats. For the best results feed your clown loaches with occasional pieces of zucchini or cucumber. Just cut up whatever food you're using into small enough pieces, so they'll leave their main diet alone and enjoy some new flavors too, trust me, when I tell why this will make all kinds. Of difference I mean come one. These little guys would never hurt anything unless given permission first. Final thoughts hopefully, by now you should have a good idea about how to set up your tank so that the plants will thrive. A great starter option is picking some hardy anubias and java ferns for omnivores or herbivores in need of meat-based diet supplements. There are a few things you can do to keep your fish from eating the plants. For example, Supplementing their diet with zucchini slices or cucumber will help ensure that they have something nutritious in addition to what's natural for them, which should make all of those beautiful colors stand out even more.